Hey guys, we're going to talk about how to start a small business today. If you're thinking about starting a small business 2022 and you don't know what to do, you haven't got an idea, then you are at the right place. And if you're just tuning into this channel and it's your first time, welcome. I'm Margaret and I post with you on a weekly basis on different types of content. Okay guys, I want to start without further ado. But before I start, click that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel guys. Alright, then let's start. So thinking about opening or starting a small business, the first thing you need to think of is to find the right niche. Find your niche, what is it that you want to do and once you decide then you can go step by step into your business plan and an establishment but first of all to find a niche go for an idea that you love it's the most amazing thing you know to know that you're in business but you know only business but you trade it into something you love to do and i think it's that you know it's the start of success because you're going to be finding joy and excitement over your niche and it's an amazing thing hey guys once you find your niche now you can establish your business plan and basically draw your goals your aims everything in your business plan you know and also your qualification you can add those things and if you want to know more about business plan you can google it then just to get to know more about how to establish a business plan and get some support maybe or from friends and family who have established business before they will help and support you okay now you establish your business plan and have you got a capital then if you don't have that it means you like to rely on borrowing money and or rely on business grant for starters there's some company or local authority who offers grants or loans for business starters so, and sometimes they will offer you a free training into starting your small business okay once you've got the the grant approved if you're lucky to be approved then well done and uh, or you got a loan or perhaps you have your savings you want to start with your savings like some people have done it yes so it's up to you really which how you fund your business and now you have to basically find a source of help if you don't have much knowledge in business some um, uh, companies are really a great helper of business starters they will not only help you but they will guide you and they will sometimes they will even fund your business um yeah 
In case you don't have those, then you can rely on your friends and family for support into starting that business. Now, here we are. You have a niche, you have a business plan, you have a capital to start. You're, now we get to buy your place. Where is it that you want to trade? Are you going to be online or in store? Or are you going to start in store and online? It's up to you. So if you find a location and you can afford to pay for a location, get fee, then there is a step forward. And the right location is important in business because you don't want to be hidden. Because you want your customer to see you when they walk past. It's so important for business success to have a right location. And this lady took about the four P's. Uh, the price, promotion, product, and place. So these are the four pieces that are massively important in your business and you're going to make sure that if your four pieces are right. <coughs> right? Now, let's continue. You've got a business venue. Now, who is going to be your wholesaler? Have you thought about people who provide the right product for your business? Because it's important to have the right stakeholder including the wholesalers. The wholesaler will provide you crap product and they're gonna be happy you want the right product from your wholesalers. Now you can go about a list of wholesalers who sell a particular product that you're gonna be trading and or service whatever it is yes just choose the right one because the product is massively important in business your customer wants to buy the right product at a fair price all right so now decide on the price of your items are you going to charge them a small to medium scale or medium to high um, some people don't care about the price, it's just want the right product, but some people want to make sure they buy the right product at the right price. You see that a little bit of um, study is needed before opening the business. And once you got all this right, guys, now you will decide when to order the products and once it, the products are in and also decide where to for a start you're going to be needed friends and family support or you will hire a staff can you afford to hire a staff in case you can't afford to hire a staff then you will rely on your friends and family support yeah and you let him know yes i've started a business and also you can rely on mouth to mouth advertisement for your business and now you can also decide to advertise your business and the opening day on Facebook and any other social media so once you decide on the opening date product must be in ready for the opening date and now announce to your friends and family about your I tell them tell them about your idea and also um, use social media perhaps a facebook group 
to inform more people about your business idea and the opening date. So once you've done that right, guys, then it's a massive step. A couple of people already know about your business and perhaps they will share the news. Yes, they will share, share, share now to now. Because at that point, if you're a small business, I don't think you have enough cost to go for a massive advertising campaign. And perhaps your venue is not a big place. So you don't want you got to be mindful about how many people are turning up into your business as well. And also, um, have you got a crop house? I love the cross for this place for me. Love me, Carlos. If not, According to your capital, you may or may not need a website for a start and just focus on your business venue. And once that is, that is done, you've also invited people in for the opening date, then you're almost there. But everything you do, make sure you involve your friends and family to help your support. If, but if you can do it alone, right. Hey guys, what are we gonna do on this opening? Have you got leafleting, leaflets ready? For your promotion just for them to let uh, for them to know about your prices so they need to know more about your business are you going to be telling them with your mouth or leafleting i think leafleting will be important because then they will get to know about your price and your opening day um everything in there then it will save you from um perhaps talking too much <laughs> hey guys huh
Today, we actually came in my garden. I see much grass to be caught. Um,
open our side door. Okay. 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 Okay.